Then there'd been the attempted bombing of Mr. Cohen's home. I was the one that had pulled the bomb from under the house and nervously dismantled it ere it blew us all out into eternity. And it was a combination of all these events that impressed me with the uncertainty of life. Then Mr. Graham and his comment, this may be his last opportunity. And he stressed the fact that the Spirit of God would not always strive with men. So it was that night that I finally turned to this man and I said, all right, I'll go. And uncertain as to what my relationship was with God at that time, knowing only this as I expressed in a prayer to God, and I'm so grateful that he doesn't hear us at such a time for our fancy words or our beautiful expression, but rather he knows our heart. And I, I, I said to him, I said, Lord, if you think Jim Voss means business with you, then won't you mean business with Jim Voss? And if somehow you'll straighten out the tangled affairs of my life, I'll give you my life and all that I've got. I'll hold nothing back.